Hi, I'm Yasmin Hussein, and this is your weekly motoring news. Bentley has released full specification details of its fastest ever road car, the 205 mile per hour Continental GT Speed. Powered by a 6 litre twin turbo W12 engine, the GT Speed features a new close ratio automatic transmission with management software, making it capable of doing 0 to 60 in just 4 seconds. As well as performance tuning, Bentley has also worked to improve fuel economy, range and CO2 emissions on the new model, making it both faster and more economical. GT Speed is available to order now, with delivery starting in October. Luxury electric car manufacturer Fisker is recalling over a thousand of its cars after a fire started spontaneously under the bonnet of a Karma sedan in Woodside, California. After carrying out a detailed investigation into the cause of the fire, Fisker tracked the source of ignition to a faulty cooling fan that had overheated. Customers are being contacted by retailers and will have the cooling fan replaced with a new unit. An extra fuse will also be fitted for added protection. RM Auctions has generated a record $95 million in sales at its annual Monterey auction following the Pebble Beach weekend. 20 cars were bought for over a million dollars, all sports and racing cars, and every one but three of these being pre-1970 classics. The top seller was a 1968 Ford GT40 Gulf Mirage racing car, which sold for $11 million. Next down the list was a 1962 Ferrari 250 GT California Spider that went for $8.5 million. A 1953 Bentley Continental R-Type Fastback Sports Saloon set a new world record for its model, achieving over $1.5 million. Land Rover has given the Freelander 2 a premium upgrade for 2013, promising better comfort, convenience and driving enjoyment. Amongst the exterior changes are the newly designed LED lights at the front and rear, new wheel designs and paint colours to choose from and a bright finish to the fog lamp bezels and grille. Inside there is a brand new centre console, 7-inch colour touchscreen and a Meridian audio system. Jaguar is launching all-wheel drive versions of the XF and the XJ to improve drivability on low traction surfaces. Drive is still favoured towards the rear wheels, but the ratio can be automatically shifted depending on the conditions. North America, Russia, China and continental Europe will account for the majority of sales for the new models, which are powered by a 3-litre V6 supercharged engine. With all-wheel drive occupying less than 5% of the British luxury saloon market, Jaguar has no plans as yet to introduce the new models to the UK. The prestigious supercar show Salon Privé will return to London's Scion Park this year from the 5th to the 7th of September. The three-day garden party will showcase a collection of the world's best supercars. Aston Martin has already confirmed its attendance with an impressive lineup of its latest releases, as well as British manufacturer Trident with its new diesel-powered Grand Tourer. There will also be a Ladies' Day with JK on the judging panel for the Best Dressed Lady Award. The event is rounded up on Friday the 7th with the judging of the Concorde d'Elegance. That's all we've got time for, but we'll have more motoring news next week.